I was recently approved for my first credit card, but I'm not sure when to use it. I always use my debit card for purchases. Is this a mistake? Well, tonight we're going to talk about credit cards versus debit cards. And there is a big difference. They, they look the same. They feel the same. Actually, some debit cards are also credit cards. So what's the difference? Well, as we've talked in other episodes, a credit card is really an instantaneous loan from a credit card company that you have the control over when to use or not to use it. And a credit card used properly helps to improve your credit score. By contrast, the debit card is a device that allows you to take money directly from your account without having to carry cash around. A couple issues. One, a debit card does not help you build your credit score. You're just using your money. When you run out of money, you can't use your debit card. So it doesn't show that you're a good credit risk. And also, the fact that it's taking money directly out of your account could be problematic. Now, as I've said before about credit cards, and I'll say this thing about debit cards, people should use them very sparingly. While a credit card helps a person build their credit, it does so at the risk of the card holder going into debt and spending more money than they should. With a debit card, like I just said, it stops working when your account runs out of money. However, I personally think that most people should just carry some cash and spend that whenever possible. Psychologically tougher to spend cash, to open your wallet, open your purse, reach into your pocket and pull out that cash and pay for things. It's real. You know it's happening. You're going out for the evening and you say, okay, I can only spend $100. Well, if you've got a hundred pocket, well, when you start, when you run out of that, you're done. If you have a debit card in your pocket, maybe you've got a thousand dollars in your account. So it's like, well, okay, yeah, I'll spend a little more. I've got a debit card. The bottom line is credit cards and debit cards just both make spending money way too easy. If you got to count it out, there's just a little bit of, it's not going to say a pain, but you know you're doing it. You know you're spending it. And while both cards, debit and a credit card, protect you from fraud, credit card's actually better. If your credit card gets stolen or lost or used fraudulently, just call the number on the back of the card, tell them what happened. And most of the time, the charges are reversed and they send you a new card. The same procedure works with a debit card, but you are waiting while you're waiting for things to be cleared up and set right. Your bank account may not have any money left in it for a while. And if you're pretty tight on money, that could be a problem. Not a huge fan of debit cards. I know they have their use. You know, if you're, if you're buying gas at Arco, they're a wonderful thing. But uh, I would prefer that most people use a credit card regularly for small monthly amounts, pay it off every month, and quite honestly, use cash for most everything else. You feel it when you pay cash. You don't feel it when you when you pay with a credit card or a debit card. Cash, when you run out, you run out. Well, people say, well, what if I get robbed? Well, I've never been robbed, knock on wood. I usually carry cash. And I think, I think that's, a, that's a function of where you're going. If you're going someplace where you're worried about getting robbed, if you have cash, maybe another bit of advice is don't go there. Credit cards are a great tool, but an even greater responsibility. For more information, check out our credit card playlist. And if you want to learn more about personal finance, check out our channel, The McAnulty Method, and look through our extensive library of videos. And if you have a personal finance question that we haven't answered, leave a comment below or email us at themcanultymethod at gmail.com so that we can help you live a better financial life.